this video, we are going to convert this equation in general form to standard form. Okay, so to convert um, a, general, a general form of an equation to the standard form, the first thing that you want to do is you want to simplify the equation first. You want to make sure that uh, these numbers are the smallest numbers that are possible um, in your general form. Because if you can make these numbers smaller, then that is much better because you're going to be calculating smaller numbers. Okay, So especially this one that you have a big number like 32, that will really complicate the computation process later on. Okay, Now, if you can see that um, these numbers, 16, 4, 32, 16, and 32, you can actually, um, I mean, these numbers actually has common factors, right? So what you um, can do at this point is you can actually divide um, both sides of the equation by that common factor. The common factor here is 4, right? So if I divide both sides by 4, I can make these numbers smaller, right? So 16 divided by 4 becomes 4, x squared. Then 4 divided by 4 will give me y squared. Then 32 divided by 4, that will give me 8x. Um, 16 divided by 4, that will give me 4 times y. And then minus 32 divided by 4 gives me minus 8 equals 0 divided by 4. That is still 0. Okay. So what I did here is I just wanted my numbers to be smaller. If that's possible, then do that. So what this will do is it will reduce the numbers uh, that you will be calculating later on. Okay. Now the next thing that you want to do is you want to group um, the terms with common, uh, common variables like x and y. So I will group um, 4x squared and minus 8x, right? Minus 8x. And also plus y squared minus 4y. So I'm going to group um, these two things. And then I'm going to put the negative 8 in the right side. So I'm going to add plus 8 and plus 8. That cancels out. I'll get equals 8. Okay. Now the next thing that you want to do is you want to use completing the square. Okay. So just like how you um, convert uh, the general form equation of a parabola to, st to uh, the standard form using the uh, completing the square method, that's also what we're going to do here. But remember that before you can apply the um, completing the square method, you have to make sure that the coefficient of your x squared and y squared to be equal to 1. Okay, So um, as you can see, you have 4x squared right here. Obviously, 4 is not equal to 1. So what you can do is you can actually factor out, the, um, factor out 4. So you'll get 4 times x squared minus 2x, right? So that's basically this factor right here. And then since uh, y squared already has a coefficient of 1, so just leave it as it is. So that's y squared uh, minus 4y equals 8. And so you can now do uh, completing the square for x squared minus 2x, right? So what we will do is we will complete the square. So that's x squared minus 2x plus some number, right? Plus some number that will complete the square. Uh, and then plus y squared minus 4y plus some number equals 8. Okay. And it is important that you enclose the parenthesis just to make sure that uh, the factor 4 will uh, be outside the parenthesis. Okay. Now, so what is that number that we're going to add, right? Now, if you can remember uh, with the parabola and, you know, how to complete the square, basically you take this coefficient of x, okay, you take that, so that's um, negative 2. Actually, it doesn't matter if it's negative or positive. Okay, so that's a negative 2 divided by 2 squared. Okay. That's um, how you find uh, the value here. Take this, divide it by 2, and then square that number. Okay, so that's negative 2 over 2. It's negative 1 squared is 1. Okay, so that gives me 1 here. Okay, now 
since I added one, I'm gonna add something here. But I'm not going to add one. I'm not going to add one because I still have to multiply four times one. Remember, right? So I will multiply four times one. That's gonna be the number that I'm I'm going to add on the right side. So four times one is four. So I'm going to add four. Okay. So this is uh, the the part where you really have to be very careful about. Okay. So if you added one here, that doesn't mean you're going to add one to the right side. You look at the factor um, outside of your uh, perfect square trinomial, and then you multiply that one. And that's the number that you're going to add on the right side. In this case, it's positive 4. Okay. Now here, you have negative 4. So that's negative 4 divided by 2 squared. Negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. Squared is positive 4. So you're going to add 4. But then you don't have... I mean, you have a coefficient, but coefficient is 1. So that's 1 times 4. That gives you uh, 4. You're going to add on the right side. And we can now write this as 4 times and then we will write this as a perfect square this is going to be x minus 1 squared right plus um, this one can be written as y minus 2 squared equals and then i'm going to add all these things so it's 8 plus 4 plus 4 that's 16 right and then Remember, in the equation, the standard form of uh, an ellipse, the right-hand side is equal to 1, right? So how do I get um, a positive 1 on the right-hand side? Well, I'll just have to divide both sides by whatever this number is. In this case, that's 16. So I'm just going to divide both sides by 16. And that will give me, that will give me um, x minus 1 squared divided by 4 What's 4 over 16? 4 over 16 is 1 fourth. So I'm going to get a 4 in the denominator, right? Plus y minus 2 squared divided by what? Divided by 16, right? 16 equals 1. And that's, that's the standard form of this equation right here. Okay? That's it.